Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. This is a very interesting one. So, whenever we do something, we're taught to do it properly. The Prophet ﷺ has taught us we should be doing things properly. Allah Almighty loves that when His worshipper does something, they do it thoroughly, they do it properly. Do a professional job, do a neat job, make sure it's proper. This is part of the quality that a believer is ought to have. Now, if you're doing things and it's not proper, you may get them done. But it would be more pleasing to Allah if you did it thoroughly and properly because that's the way He would like it to be. So whenever you're doing something, make sure you do it neat, prim and prop. Now, there are people who ask me about my beard. How on earth do you get it so black or so dark and so neat and whatever? My brothers, my brothers, you better learn to say, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. And, uh, you know, like we say, Allahumma barik lahu. May Allah grant us goodness. I tell you, if you, are, if you have hair, you need to honor the fact that you have hair. Look after it. You need to oil it. You need to comb it. You need to cut it, trim it. You need to make sure that you have, have it prim and prop. And at the same time, the Prophet, peace be upon him, has asked us to deface the gray hair. Deface the gray hair with what? With henna. Henna comes in different colors. Obviously, the jet black is to be avoided according to some scholars. Some say that, in fact, a lot would say the extra that speaks about the avoiding of the black is actually not from the statement of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Nonetheless, you can avoid it by using brown or tints of brown, the dark brown. You can use the, the, the orange or the shades of it and so on. But it's interesting and important for us to take care of our beards, our hair, what we look like to trim it, to keep it clean and neat, to look presentable all the time. It's also part of doing things properly and thoroughly. So now you know the secret. May Allah Almighty grant us goodness. Like I said, the, I personally use a type of henna that is dark brown. And subhanAllah, it really works because my hair is still predominantly black. So if you were to use a dark brown on it, it wouldn't really uh, show uh, the gray that much. But as time is progressing, the gray is increasing. And as the Prophet, peace be upon him, says, deface the gray, which means you have gray hair, use something to, to, you know, to cover it, uh, the henna or the, the dye that is permissible. When we say dye that is permissible, there is impermeable dye that's not, not permissible because when you make wudu or you wash yourself, it doesn't go through uh, to the hair. But then there is the henna that is used and it comes in various colors. The, the original of it is more orange type. And then you have the other ones that have in them uh, a little bit of color, which makes it black or, or perhaps um, brown or tints of brown. Now, one might argue or ask about the color black itself. Are we allowed to dye our hair black? So, like I just said earlier, there is a debate regarding the, hadith, the extra in the hadith about avoiding black. Is it from the words of the Prophet, peace be upon him, or not? The vast majority say that extra is not from the words of the Prophet, peace be upon him. And, and then there is evidence of some of the companions who in the presence of the Prophet did use black and he didn't say anything to them, which means if it was prohibited, he would have. So there is evidence to prove that that extra was just the opinion of the person who narrated the hadith. So nonetheless, uh, it, 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 if there is deception in the black that you're using or even the color that you're using, if there is deception, you know, you want to deceive someone, you're trying to get married or something and there is deception in it, then you should avoid that or you should make it clear. But if there is no deception in it, you know, and you're, you're doing it, subhanAllah, in order to follow the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, there is no problem with that. In fact, you are rewarded to take care of your hair and your beard and to make sure that you, you look prim and prop. All of that is part of the sunnah of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and the teaching of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah bless all of us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.